Good day, good day. <laughs> How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. And have I got a one off Wednesday for you? Well, oh, wait a minute. Look at this. What do we got? We got this going on back here. Well, uh, we just saw a video about this, Dano. Uh, what are we looking at? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Once you know it, but bam Yes, sir -y. I finally found one this weekend. All the way up in Appleton. Uh, it was the uh, club meet up there. I went all the way to Appleton. This was the one and only moving parts in that one Appleton store. This one here. Now, there was another uh, Walmart that I went to that had the um, other ones. What uh, Do they have them listed? They don't. Uh, the Pathfinder. Um, that uh, Dev Devo delivery, whatever delivery was. Anyway, so this is it. This is finally it. Um, I did talk about um, the uh, uh, Nissan uh, because that was the only one. And I talked about the packaging. This is just great. This is glorious. So they changed the packaging uh, for the moving parts. This is what it was. And this was just what? 2019 this came out. The 2018 uh, Land Rover Vogue SE. So this is the first time that it came out without real riders. Uh, the blue one was the first one. Orange one was next. Uh, one year, two year, three year. And here we are. So this is the black one. Moving parts. Um, these run uh, 297, something like that. Under five. These other ones back here, they, they run like five something. 550 or something like that in my my local area but anyway so this is the deal so if, hopefully i can show you this so matchbox is um trying to appeal to not just the um adult collector they're trying to get a hold of the kids that's what uh, this is all about these are toys <laughs> so what they did was is um here you can see that uh, they have the model on the bottom with the uh, description and the, you, the view of the car there. Uh, name way down here in small print. But what they're trying to do is, as a kid would look up, and now if we can look up as a kid to the shelf, they're sitting there on the floor at three feet off the floor. And if you look up, you could see the model better versus just seeing the bottom of the car. So they give a little card in there, and uh, you can see it a little bit better. So the, the visual of the vehicle is on the bottom, and just the big old moving parts and, and you know, changed up there. So it's uh, a rounded um, orbital, <laughs> just made that up, orbital type uh, oval packaging. So uh, yes, very, very interesting. Um, so non uh, rubber wheels, and uh, so uh, I just had to, that last video, I had to make one uh, into a rubber wheeled one. Just, oh my goodness. So I had to make that one, holy cow, we had to make that one into uh, Real Riders, uh, the uh, Matchbox uh, rubber wheels. I don't know what they call them. They don't call them Real Riders. That's Hot Wheels. But anyway, so uh, yeah, we did that <laughs> there. So here we go. This is what it is. This is... This is what it looks like. I've been waiting for one of these. Um, yes, I don't know. The whole COVID shipping, whatever, whatever fiasco is still going on. So uh, these are still kind of hard. Appleton, that's, you know, several miles away, a couple of hours away from me. Big metropolis over by Green Bay, just south of Green Bay, uh, where the Green Bay Packers are. So lots of people up there two Walmarts in that town, and this is all I could find. Big disappointment. Even the Targets were a big disappointment. But here we go. So this is it, and I got one, and you know what? I know this is my one and only, and I usually don't open this up, but I have faith that this summer I will find more Matchbox opening parts. Um, this one actually has come out pretty good. Um, I would say I have probably 10 of these. Uh, in my vault and uh, I you know I, I try to sell stuff to people on this channel and on our uh, uh, store page 
So I have enough of these to where I could sell them. These two um, have uh, lots of orange, not so much the blue. That was, uh, I don't know why those came out so hard, but I do have enough of those per se in my uh, uh, arsenal or in my stock room that um, uh, I can sell them. Now this one is going to be, um, I got to take one out of the case anyway. So here we go. We're going to take this one out of the uh out of the case all right so let's go ahead and uh take that right out we're gonna just take that right out. i'm gonna come over here to the side of the counter now this is kind of harder because it's a uh, uh i don't know what kind of shape you would if you know what kind of shape this is <laughs> let, let me know i am not uh into uh uh geometric shapes i know what a circle is i know what a square is I know what pizza comes in and uh, hamburgers, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oval, oval, but it's not really an oval. Land Rover oval. Does, uh, anyway, anyway, let's get to it here. Come on. <laughs> so just uh, very kind of cool here. So it's a clamshell type thing. And so like always, now they had to go out and... Um, make a whole new plastics and everything for this kind of uh, advertising and uh, so there it is without you know the innard in it so very interesting put that aside now this here fits on the bottom of this and I know I'm showing you a lot of goofy stuff with the packaging but that just sits in there like that just free willy-nilly so I can imagine some of them coming out like this or coming out like that you know so anyway so there we go it's really nice that they that, you know you can really see that because this this one here even you know i mean it's hard to see that way under there um so very very kind of cool that i like that you know very bold and out so then this is just one big constant uh piece um these here did have a like two piece you know the outside and then another one piece in there um but anyway uh and it and it does show with it open uh now i've showed you in the last video that a couple of them that uh were not open in the card so all right here we go let's just get right to the let's get right to the story here dan yeah the the beauty of it let's see if that shuts yes so right off the bat i want to say and let's see if we can get the lighting in. I'm going to tilt this one upside down. I want to say that those wheels, the rims, are different. And I, I don't know if we can really pick it up. There's a lot of brightness. But it looks like the white vehicle has more of a smoked chrome wheel that's the same wheel. It's just not as shiny chrome as the black one. Um, so yeah, that, that's the first thing right off the bat. Then, um, you know, the same kind of colored base. They're both, both gray bases. I suppose we get them all in, in tune here. Same base and everything that way. And they've always come with the gray base. Um, now the first two came with tan interiors. And now these, these buggers here are coming with the gray interior. So we'll take it take a look at that and this bugger just doesn't want to really open all that well but there it is the gray interior with that now this back hatch is plastic and uh very nicely done now you can kind of see some of the um 3d printing grooves in it and stuff like that but uh it's not too bad that window isn't quite smooth but not too bad really Range Rover across the back. It's got the uh, Range Rover license plate with, um, uh, now this is different than this one because this is MBX. So they flip back and forth on the uh, license plate. And I'm sorry, I'm really giving my phone a workout here. And because uh, I want to zoom in on these buggers because they are really, really good, good to detailed and stuff like that. The fit and form isn't that awfully great on this one. It, I the white really accentuates that um I don't know the black is a little bit better I don't know of course it's black it doesn't show up as much but anyway so uh what do we got three d uh four decals Range Rover license plate 
Range Rover on the one side and a badge on the left. Uh, still, it's got a trim for uh, the side markers down below on the uh, lower valance there. Um, this uh, side here isn't quite as crisp and clean. Now, normally it was silver. Now it's black. They went black. And this is a beautiful pearl white. Um, the black one was uh, pearl black. And this one is a pearl white. So very, very nice. Some uh, markings up on the windows to give it that floating roof. So uh, very cool there. Same uh, decals on the front. Now this white one, we can see that, you know, they have black and then gray and then black and then gray and black with the Range Rover. Nice, nice headlights on that one there too. Uh, so here's the flip side. Passenger side, very, very cool. But yeah, I don't know if it's just my model or what, but that just doesn't quite fit or it looks like it doesn't quite fit that well. well I would say that that one... Come on, fits a little bit better. But like I say, just because it's white, I think it's it's kind of showing up just a little bit more. That's my my defending uh, matchbox there. No tail lights on this one. The uh, five dollar plus ones got tail lights. Uh, paint job on that top fin isn't the best there, but yeah, and you can kind of see in the light there how grainy that uh, plastic piece is uh, yeah I mentioned uh, what is it Louise or one of those guys um, uh, drone mentioned it too bad that that wasn't a uh, metal piece but then if it was metal you would have to have a, a plastic clear window so that's two pieces versus this being one piece and then they could just paint this uh, to match the body color you know because that's all just a clear plastic and then they paint it to uh to make that so there we go all right i gotta get out of here one up wednesday Woo look at that baby <laughs> make sure you give me a thumbs up come on over to facebook to uh roverland and uh check us out there otherwise yeah wow we got one finally moving parts the white one very very sharp looking yeah can't wait to get more and uh then uh, maybe we can do another rubber rubber wheeled one Yep, that's right. We're going to do that. All right, this is your friend Dano saying, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.